about the scene in Waterbury as the weather system first yeah, moved into the state. Waterbury. Right now, we want to talk about some breaking news that we just learned about here in NBC Connecticut. Two. Seven people have been struck by lightning line. at the Lake of Isles Lake golf of Isles course in North it. Stonington. State police tell us the injuries Facebook. are minor. We have a crew on the way to the scene. We'll update you as soon as we get more information on that. But right now, let's talk to my to our meteorologist. Yes, that's right. We're also dealing with fires. We've got power outages as well. Bob, what is the very latest at this point? Well, the most important thing we is that the severe and strong thunderstorms from earlier this morning have now pushed into Rhode Island. There's still some thunder and lightning, but nothing, nothing to the extent that we saw back between about 7 and 10 o'clock this morning. So things are now out a little bit, and there's a chance that more storms pop up this afternoon. Let's go right to the radar and check the ground. Even as the severe weather has pushed east, we've had a few lightning the last 5 to 10 minutes in parts of Windham and New London counties. Uh, especially around Bottom Town, around Glow Thunder recently. Yes, There's plans, also this batch of rain, right. which so is uh, clear, covering Interstate 91 from the Mass shot, border down to just around Middletown. Right. And then the rain gets uh, much lighter so and RS, ends RS as you go from New Haven to Bridgeport. And, uh, There's still considerable uh, clouds well. in western Connecticut, it's but that will change. As I did expect, there's some rain to develop. Here's a wide perspective of the radar. Really showing in the last six hours. It shows that intense line of thunderstorms 